morning welcome to the second part of a weekly vlog which i had to split in two parts because otherwise it was going to be a feature length film rando set up because my family are away so i've taken over the lounge room so this is my new this is my new spot this morning i have my gym session i'm going to try and attempt a pb in my bench press for five reps 42.5 kilos because I got 42 kilos last week. Before I leave, I'm gonna try on the Muscle Nation um, delivery that came yesterday. I've also set up the new ring light. If you guys saw the part one of this vlog, so the ring light that I got, that's just like a really cheap phone tripod, which I'm just kind of balancing my camera on. So this is what it looks like when I put on some light. That's a bit, a bit intense. Can I like turn it down slightly? Oh, I can. Oh, that's better. Oh, and you can go to orange. That looks better. The orange one looks way better. This is a freaking bargain. Damn. Now, let me just show you what you set up on. That. Okay, Keen. There's a lot in here, so I'm not going to do a full haul right now because after my gym session, I'm going to the new house because it's not furnished properly yet and it's got blank walls. I'm going to try and film like a reel. This is what I'm most excited for. This is the Washed Sherbet Frosty Extra Oversized Vintage Hoodie. Okay, it's the extra. Stop. Oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, the front. Is that not the cutest thing ever? I also got an extra small because this is already going to be massive. This is the back. Holy. This is so cool. I'm definitely wearing this hoodie today. This was the thing I was most excited for from this launch. So my discount code is Imogen for 10% off Muscle Nation. I'm hoping everything is going really well and I still have that code because if you guys have been long-term followers, you know I am a very big Macro Mike fan. That's who I was with before Muscle Nation and I ended my contact with them because Muscle Nation are both activewear and supplements and you can't have like competitive brands whereas Macro Mike are just supplements. But I love the Macro Mike proteins so much and they just have a bigger vegan range and I really want to try asked to do both Micro Mac and Muscle Nation and I don't know how that will go down. So look, I really hope it has gone well, but this is a discount code that I have for whichever brand that I am in with and I love them and I do get commission and it helps me if you buy with my code, but also helps you because then you get those products and they're the best. Anyway. Guys, I'm actually that excited that I was able to re-sign with Macro Mac and stay with Muscle Nation because they're literally like my two faves. Oh, I'm so excited. Links below. Thank you so much. So there's a leisure set and it's like a cropped, I got it in black. There's three different colors. It's like a cropped um, sweat with Muscle Nation on the front. It also has matching lounge shorts, signature scrunch leggings in black, small black scrunch bike shorts. Oh, I hate when you accidentally press snooze on an alarm and it like scares the shit out of you after. So I got the washed black, I think it's called wash black this colour. And then matching trackies. Stop, I'm literally so obsessed with this pink oversized hoodie. Rapid bra, the back is like a crisscross in this colour. And I also got it in a bright pink. And then I also have shorts in this pink colour from another launch. So maybe I'll wear those together. Oh yes, I got like a cropped tee in like a vintage, I love that. How cool. The trackies that match that washed. Oh, this is a long line cover. So it's like a full length puffer. I'm just gonna have to show you guys the reel. And then I got just like a crop, active crop. Love this. So that is all the items that I got. This is the sports bra. These shorts are from a different Muscle Nation collection. The color is like a flamingo or something. That's the back. Stabilized rib cropped tank in black. So it's like very cropped, which I kind of love. Fuck yes. Gosh, how cool. And the back. Love. Okay, I really need to leave for my gym session and have something to eat first. So I will see you guys later. Let's go and get this bench press PV.
feel great. <laughs> my bench press, I did 42.5 for a set of five, but I failed the fifth, but I got a four out, so I'm just happy with that. It's still a PB. My chin-ups felt so good, and my strength coach was like, they look really good, let's go weighted, like wear the weight belt and add weight. So I did that, and I feel strong as fuck right now. Um, I'm just really happy to be like finally getting strong and running better and feel like an athlete again He was like let's try and keep pumping out reps even if it's less reps with more weight So then when you get rid of the weight we can hopefully work towards a set of 10 body weight chin-ups Which is like my goal for this year. I want to be able to do 10 body weight chin-ups I'm heading to the other house now to make a reel with my muscle nation stuff I've also been kind of stressing today just about um, moving out soon. I just feel broke already I really don't want to have to use my savings, but I know some weeks I'm not going to make the amount that I need for living expenses. The other thing I wanted to add, little body image comment, positivity. I don't feel like great body image right now, but I also don't feel much emotion towards it. Like I genuinely feel quite neutral towards it. Yeah, like I don't really care. And I feel like that's a really good thing. Cause in the past, if I didn't feel lean enough some days, I would, like my ED would be so, intense and restricting and over exercising and not listening to hunger but i honestly do not feel like that at all i'm i'm just like neutral about it and i'm like some days you feel really really good in your body yeah you just feel great body image and sometimes you don't and it just is what it is but on the days you don't i don't not i don't even use the word love myself but i don't think any less of myself and i don't think i shouldn't eat in a really good place except financially <laughs> jokes financially i'm fine but i just like it's gonna suck going from being able to save most of my earnings to using every single cent i own for living expenses which i know a lot of people have to do so it's just something i'll have to get used to and i think the thing that stresses me out the most is i'm a uni student so i have uni most days of the week and i can't just take on more work because i have university i'm stressed in advance but then i keep remembering <laughs> I can just go door dashing, so I'm kind of gonna start trying to do that just like a little bit. Okay, I'm practicing different reels. I'm trying to do like a transition one with different like to the beat, changing outfits. These are fun, but the worst bit is having to keep changing my outfits over and over. I've just done one like attempt at one so far, which I kind of like, but I didn't get to show every outfit and I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. Okay, that's better. I kind of like it, but I think it needs refining. I'm going to save it and make some more. This is zoomed in a lot, but I found a good audio with a good beat that I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try like one or two more and then I'm gonna have to call it a day. Look how zoomed in that is. Love that for me. I don't know what to do. Been here for an hour and I finally got the reel. It's all perfect except the frame changes. <laughs> okay. There, see how the, fuck. Do I do it all again? Okay, I'm going home. I ended up filming each outfit again, trying to stay in the same spot this time, and then I'm gonna try and edit it like I did that, the one I just showed you. Um, but I am gonna head home now because I've been here for an hour and a half. I actually could keep filming, but I am freezing. B, my phone's about to die. I had it plugged in overnight, but my cable's not the best, so it wasn't at the right angle to charge, so it's like dying. And then I also wanna like, have some time to get home and have something to eat before I go out to work for the evening. Work. Oh, cute lighting. Thumbnail lighting. <sighs> it is around 2 and I'll be here till around 7. 7, 7.30ish. I have my long line puffer on because it's actually so warm and today is freezing. Later. Steam, yeah, it makes you sweat so much more. Sauna. Done. Oh, that was feral. <laughs> I feel feral. It's eight o'clock. I didn't expect getting home this late, but I went in the sauna with Conrad after work. 
but that was Thursday. I will see you guys tomorrow. Yesterday was supposed to be quiet Being to myself and sit in silence Until I got a call My friend showed up at my door They wanted me crashed and I thought I lost the vlog I was editing. Yeah, delivery just came so I thought I would open it. I've been having a very chill Friday. Friday used to be a big work day but I swapped it to Monday because um, when uni goes back I am on campus for like eight or nine hours. I got a daily edited phone case. Don't worry I didn't just go and buy myself a phone case. I feel like I just don't have like disposable income now moving out. But I had a gift voucher. I love that it's just like a plain black phone case. Like, don't get me wrong, I love my phone case, but I feel like it'd be nice to just have like a plain one. So I got my initials down the bottom. I feel like most people get them here, and I was tossing up between here or down the bottom, and then I just vibed down the bottom, and I got it just like embossed, not in gold, and I really like it. Vibe. <laughs> Everyone is taking my favorite. Get in my vlog. Yeah. Yeah, say hi. We're drinking too much. I guess I got caught up. Can someone make this headache go away? We were dancing in the I'm off to run club, um, not to run in the run club, but to take the run club. I, oh, oh, it's three degrees according to the car. Jesus, I have my heat pack that I accidentally microwaved for way too long. And I think I've like burnt it, like the inside, it smells really weird. I woke up at like five today from a strange, strange dream. Then I just had this really fire, this really good idea for a book like a fictional book and I just had so many ideas and a really great storyline and then I just lay in bed for an hour just planning out the storyline and I was like okay I'm gonna get up and start writing this because I just really want to like just for fun and then my alarm went off and I was like when I get back I'm just gonna start writing this book so I'm really keen to get home and start writing all these ideas that I had I made the session at Oatly today which is where my squad trains on a Sunday so me and Ella were going to meet this morning and do the session because she's going to get there at 8, which is when Run Club finishes, to do her session because she doesn't want to do it tomorrow morning because she's going out tonight. And I was like, sick, I'll meet you and do it because I'm literally already there and then I can have my rest day on Sunday instead of Saturday. And I was kind of vibing that, like finishing the training week today. And I told my coach last night at training, like my coach is already not happy with Ella doing it this morning. And my coach was like, no you are not I'm not allowed to she wants us to do the best for our bodies and having it training sessions with only like an, a 12 hour gap between isn't the best recovery wise especially injury wise and she said after what your foot and body has been through recently like with the toe turf stuff no you're not doing it sorry I know you want to I know like when I was your age I know you'd think I'll be fine like right now I have no pain so I'm like yeah but no so 
that means I don't have a Sunday sleep in. But that means I can come home and write my book. This is so random. I really need to leave. Let's go. I even thought of a perfect, a perfect title. And I'm so, I love it. I love it. I'm so excited to write this story. I think it's so cool. This is so random. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally running slightly late because I got distracted by the freaking book that I started writing. Love that for me. And then I had to quickly inhale some oats because I was like, frick, I have 10 minutes to get ready. She will be wrong. Not right, but wrong. <laughs> We have a, what do you call it? Like a work? Yeah, everyone's like, what are you doing today? I keep playing a work gather. A bonding <laughs> session. A work bonding session, I love that. We're playing squash and everyone's super competitive, but I've never played squash before and I feel like really unfairly advantaged, so. <laughs> I didn't realize that squash was that thing hitting against what I literally YouTubed last night how to play squash. But with a racket. Yeah, I thought it was like, I thought it was like badminton for some reason. Like when you said wall ball, ball, I was like, what the fuck are you Did no one else play wall ball in primary school? Like yeah, like handball, handball against the wall, yeah. yeah. I thought you meant more balls like... Oh, like, like as in squat, like in, in at the gym, right? Yeah. Fair. Okay, let's go suck at... at oh, I was about to say, let's go suck at wall wall. <laughs> at squash. Solid, <laughs> That's so pretty. Yeah. Okay, you're oh running backflip. Back <laughs> yeah. Wait, are you actually gonna backflip? No, you're gonna be too yeah. lactic, you'll get hurt. <laughs> Weapon. <laughs> good morning. I feel like I've had a cracker start to this Sunday. Like, I'm just feeling really good. When my alarm went off this morning, I was like, I was in a great sleep and I was like, fuck training right now. But then I had a great session. It was just really nice. And the conditions are beautiful today. Compared to yesterday when it was like three degrees. Today it's like, it's almost 20 degrees. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's just a really nice day. It felt really good. And then I got home and I had a shower, got clean, had some brekkie. A second brekkie because I also had some pre-workout snack. And now I've got a couple of things on today. So originally me and Haley were going to spend the day door dashing together. You know, a little bit of extra side hustle. We're going to meet a little bit later. And then I was going to get a massage with one of my friends from work who's like doing the hours to be a masseuse, which I'm so keen for. But he's not replying and I feel like he went out really late last night because um, we did plan to like message in the morning. So I feel like he's probably like 
unconscious right now. And then Leah and Lucy were messaging about going for a walk. So it's a little bit up in the air what's happening on my Sunday. But I think I'm meeting Haley in like two hours. So I think I'm just going to drive that way and kind of start dashing myself. If I press dash along the way and an order comes up like straight away. Dash until 12. Start dashing. All right, let's go. I want to just put a trigger warning in case car crashes might upset or trigger anybody because I was in a car crash. I crashed my car on this drive. I'm sorry. I know. I'm like, I don't it was quite traumatic and so scary and I literally just it was a road I drive every day and I'm editing this like over a week later because I just couldn't like look at it or think about it yeah a road I drive every day I looked down at the radio like I lost concentration for a second and then I look back up and yeah got smashed by the airbags the whole front of the car crumpled it was really scary but there was so many lovely people that were really supportive and it was also really hard having my parents away like they I couldn't contact them they were on there on holidays um and had no connection but things are doing a lot better now yeah shit happens and it's just like <sighs> it was so scary but now I'm kind of extremely like vigilant on the road rather than so chill like and complacent on the road hey so I'm recording this voice a few days later. Here's also some throwbacks on my Instagram from a few years ago because I was so excited um, when I first had my car. I wanted to add that, look, as the days have gone on and how bad I've been feeling has eased a lot, I've been just so grateful that I didn't get hurt at all and nobody got hurt and shit happens and it's just life. So I'm so sorry to end this vlog on a bit of a bad note. But thank you for watching as always and I hope you join me in the next video.